Next is App Router versus Pages Router. Which one is better and which one should you pick for your next project? With App Router, you do get React server components and client components, server actions, advanced caching mechanisms, and a lot more. Whereas with Pages Router, it is a lot easier to get started and a lot of developers are more familiar with it. So in this specific video, we will be comparing App Router and Pages Router and help you decide which one is best for your specific project. So let's dive in. The biggest feature that got introduced in App Router was the React server components and client components. It, it basically changes the way you build your application inside of Next.js. For example, if you adopt App Router, all your components, every single JavaScript file that you create inside your project is by default a server component. That means it's rendered on the server versus on the client. But if you create a new file inside the pages router, then it's going to be rendered on the client. Now, this is huge because it, your mental model needs to shift. Whenever you are adding any code in your components, you need to check, can this run on the server? If yes, then only add that specific code. Otherwise, you need to make it a client component explicitly, which again is a shift for sure. Now, due to this specific change, it's harder for developers to adopt App Router because again, you have to learn React Server components, client components, even with server actions, there are a bunch of different gotchas that you need to be aware of. Now I have created a few videos on server actions, so definitely check that out. But make sure to keep that in mind as you switch to using App Router. Now Next.js uses a file-based routing system. The difference between App Router and Pages Router hasn't changed much, but definitely a bit if you were to transition from App Router to Pages Router. In App Router, all you need to do is create a folder about and then create a page inside it called as page.tsx and page.tsx would be the default route for about versus with pages router you can directly create about.tsx there is no naming convention for it when you're migrating your application from pages router to app router so that is something to definitely consider the routing has definitely changed and your files might have to be moved around to get adopted in the app router next yes uses fetch and they have extended the native fetch api to add additional caching capabilities on top of fetch in the app router. Now, this is huge because if you just straight up use fetch, you would have no idea why your data is cached for hours or you're not getting new data at all. This will definitely trip new newer Next.js developers because again, all the data is cached. So you have to basically refetch it. You have to maybe delete your Next.js directory. So you basically have to learn how fetch works and how Next.js has essentially extended fetch to provide different mechanisms. Now, in before Next.js 13, we had server-side rendering, static side generation, incremental static regeneration, and so on and that allowed you to fetch data. So for example, you, you can fetch data at build time, or you could fetch data after a specific interval, or you could fetch data on the server completely and server render it. With fetch itself, by using fetch, by default, force cache is the default, which means that it is going to cache at build time and request time and reuse on each data request. Now, you should you should definitely keep this in mind because if your data is stale for a very long time, then this is the reason because it's caching it. You have to keep this in mind for sure. Then we also have fetching data after a specific interval as well inside of Next.js, which means that you can say after 3,600 seconds, I want you to get in fresh data. And this is how you do it. Now, basically the way you do this as well, basically how you fetch data inside of Next.js has also changed in Pages Router and App Router. With App Router, you have to keep caching top of mind. In fact, I would highly recommend you to go through the caching documentation to really understand how caching works. They cache at four different levels. This is very typical React request memoization, which is something that everyone should be aware of. It is, it's a React way of memoizing your data and storing it. But then we also have data cache, which means it stores data across user requests and deployments. Full route cache, that means in order for them to save cost from fetching new data from the server, they perform heavy, intense caching, to basically cache between routes as well. So you need to purge the cache in order for you to fetch new data when the route when you switch routes between pages. Now again, this is something that's really important. So the router cache is something that you need to be aware of as well as its user session or time based. Now, if you use server actions, 
then there are ways to purge the cache. There are ways to say that, hey, if you now do the new page, then I actually have new data. So refetch the data else it's going to be cached forever. Now, this is something that trips many developers up. So keep that in mind as you switch between app router as well as pages router. There is definitely a steep learning curve when you switch to app router because of a few things. Caching on routing, intense caching. Developers are not yet fully familiar with React server components and how to architect your components in general because that definitely needs to change as you create new files inside your app directory. There's definitely little things like it's definitely harder to tell files apart because everything is a page.tsx and you have to basically look at the folder name to figure out, okay, this is a specific route. But here's the thing. Here's what my experience has been after building with App Router. Also, rebuilding my Next.js course as well. Well, I do think App Router makes a lot of things a lot easier. For example, if you have to make a database request called SQL, or Postgres, then you can directly call them inside your server component, which is a lot simpler. Now you don't have to create a new API route altogether. So it definitely reduces your development time because now you don't have to create a new API route and use fetch to call that specific API route, get the data, transform the data and show it to the user. Now, all you need to do is directly inside the React server component, keep the file as it is because by default, it is a server component and directly add your SQL code inside your page itself and then directly call it by transforming the data the way you like. It reduces a lot of headache because you don't have to create APIs anymore because of server components. But this does mean that you need to rethink your architecture for how you want to architect your components, your pages all together, because there are definitely a few gotchas with server components and client components such as how, where you should fetch data, where you should access backend resources, what is not possible inside of a server component, such as on-click handlers and so on. Also, you cannot use any browser specific APIs inside of server components as a server is involved. So you have to make sure that you understand all these different patterns and how, and how you structure your application definitely needs to change because now you are building with the app router. But again, if you were to add a something backend functionality, then it's really easy to get started by using just server components and it has reduced my time drastically. So should you go for app router or pages router? What, which one should you pick? Well, my advice would be that if you are brand new to Next.js, then I highly recommend starting with the app router because app router is by default available you install next.js application so that is the default in order for you to switch to pages router in the command line tool you need to tell them that hey i'm not interested in app router i'm interested in pages router but app router is the latest and greatest so you should use app router by default and start learning next next.js but let's say you already have an existing application that uses the pages router it has way too many files then should you switch to app router right away? If I were to architect the app, then I would essentially create a plan for how you want the architecture to be for all the pages in your application. So for example, which page should be a server component, what needs to be refactored and so on, and then slowly start migrating to the app router. But pages router is fully functional. So the main things that you're missing out on are server components and client components, server actions and advanced caching mechanism. But that is something you may or may not need. But server components and client components and server actions are the two big reasons why people might want to switch to app router. So I would create that architecture first, create the structure of all your files and folders and, and learn all the limitations of server components and client components, and then go about by grading one file at a time. Now app router definitely can work well together with the pages router, but you need to make sure that you understand what your strategy is before you do this. But between app router and pages router, it needs to be a gradual transition as you start moving the files and as you start creating new routes. So that's a wrap for app router versus pages router. Now, if you're interested in learning more, so I would highly recommend you to watch the specific server action video that will give you an in-depth overview for how server actions work with an example that I absolutely love. And second, if you want to learn some gotchas with React Server Components as you start adopting App Router instead of Next.js, then you can also watch this specific video that talks all about React Server Components. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.